Hello everyone and welcome to part 49 of the Disney All-Stars Legacy Challenge. It has been forever since I've played with this household or played The Sims at all. To be honest, life has been a little crazy. But I am back and hopefully I'll get back into my routine soon. And I'm super excited to play again. We are looking at Juan right now who still has his orange tan or sunburn. I'm not sure from our vacation that we took. And I'm not completely sure what happened in the last episode. I just remember that Justin went off to university. He goes to Foxbury now, which is so exciting. I'm so happy for him. Let's see where he is. Here's Justin, open his profile, computer science at Foxbury. He also still has his babysitter job. Oh my god, he's a daddy's boy. <gasps> the best relationship with a relaxed parents. I did not know that. Oh my god, nice to know. Okay, um, yeah, he went off to college and I'm not, not sure what else happened. But I do know that Alex and Oliver decided to not be romantic at all anymore because it just wasn't going anywhere and he wasn't into her you see they have no sentiments at all she only knows one of his traits it was just I don't know it was a weird situation she still has the romance bar with Callan even though they have been fighting a lot recently they are lovers and best friends so that's that but Alex is also a spellcaster now, so that's something she definitely wants to focus on right now. And she does not know yet that Callan is also a spellcaster and that he lured her into the realm of magic to make sure that she activates her powers or something like that. She doesn't know that yet and I'm not sure how she will find out. I haven't, I haven't decided on that yet, so... You enjoy your popcorn, miss. <laughs> she also still has a tan. It looks so good on her. And what are you feeling? Nothing special. Oh, you have dry skin. Maybe you can apply some lotion once you are done eating. Where is it? Apply lotion. And other than that, she's feeling pretty good. So maybe we can go out and do something. Maybe we could go to the realm of magic. Because I think Juan... I mean, obviously she knows that she comes from a family of spellcasters now and Juan promised her that he would organize some magic lessons for her because he knows she's gonna try to explore the magic one way or the other and he obviously would prefer her to do it in a safe environment and with someone who knows what they're doing so maybe they could go to the realm of magic together and find her a teacher someone he trusts so she doesn't uh you know get in the wrong hands i mean it's friday night but i guess we could go right now and kind of get that storyline started oh wait do we have to go through the map or can does Alex have that stone now? I think she has that stone now, right? Oh, you have dirty laundry. Uh, maybe put that in here. And she does have the stone. Travel to destroy. Oh my god. Travel to magic realm. Can we take someone though? Or otherwise I will just bring Juan. So we don't always have to go to the gate and then, you know, go there. Oh my god. <gasps> that was so cool. We also have to get her a broom. So freaking exciting so exciting and here we are and juan is here as well oh i will never get over this world it is so cool and i think juan is gonna go inside i think alex is just looking around everything and is just astonished at how pretty everything looks um maybe i don't know she'll just sit over here and wait for her dad to uh, come over with someone to teach her Ooh, who are you um well, who's that adeline will okay wait isn't that callan's sister yeah. maybe i think that's a sister um where are those people okay maybe she wants to start with practical magic and that's practical magic penelope flores okay maybe that will be her first teacher juan go over here and talk to her because i think practical magic is a good starting point for a young witch are you done now because <laughs> he doesn't want her to do untamed magic or something like that yet or even at all he obviously wants to protect his little girl um, and they already know each other a little bit you see they have a pretty good relationship so he's gonna ask her oh penelope haven't seen you in ages maybe she's an old family friend 
I can imagine that Penelope was very good friends with his mom. So she is already standing here with all the herbs, which is totally what his mom was into. So he's gonna ask her if she would teach Alex, his daughter. It's like Alex just discovered her powers and I want her to learn how to do magic in a safe environment. And yeah, would you like to teach her, please? She's like, oh, I don't know. I haven't worked with young witches in a long while. She's like, oh, I, I you know, my mom can teach her because she's dead. So it would mean so much to us if you would do it. Please, pretty please. And oh, they just had a minus, but we're just going to pretend that she said yes. Yes. He's like, oh, okay, I mean, your mom would have wanted me to do it. I would have done anything for that woman. She taught me so much. So, sure, where is that daughter of yours? Get her over here. Alex, oh my god, what's that music? Oh, they're dueling. <gasps> that is so cool. I can't wait to explore that more. Um, and Alex is gonna come over here and introduce herself as well. Oh my god, that didn't look too well. And Juan is like, that's exactly what you are not supposed to do, young lady. <laughs> no dueling for you. Oh my god, they're not stopping. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, the guy in the red hoodie is so creepy. Oh my goodness. Okay, she's like, hi. Um, Are you gonna teach me magic? Please? Share excitement. Uh, No, I don't know. Just start talking about magic, exchange names, I don't know. <laughs> Just get to know each other, maybe discuss interests and tell her what she would like to learn. She's like, is there something that can get me out of cleaning or doing my homework? Because I really don't like doing that stuff. I'm not big into housework. And she's like, yeah, practical magic will help you with a lot of everyday stuff, you know? Also enthused about mischief. And yeah, I'm also really interested in mischievous magic. Oh, how are you? You're cute. You're a teen as well. Can we introduce ourselves? Let's do a funny introduction. I want to um, get to know more teen, teen spellcasters. Oh! <gasps> Callan is calling us. I can't right now, Callan. No phone over service here. <laughs> we'll we'll come over later. How can we ask about magic? Magic. Um, ask for right of dissolution. Ask to teach practical magic. Yeah, I think that's that's what we are supposed to do. What did she say? I can't share my knowledge with just anyone. Let's get to know each other first. Then I'll decide if you are worthy. Oh, and here's Alexa. Untamed magic. Ooh, I bet Alex. Um, no, sorry. Juan is so mad at her. Um, a rude introduction. They already know each other from you know stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but he's gonna be like where did you go off just exposing my daughter to magic <laughs> i don't know he's just really mad at her for doing that because they knew each other and she's like that's what your mother would have wanted i don't know I, it's so weird i'm so awkward who's over here we do have some cute guys but they're adults here's another teen oh my god he looks so cool with his little elf ears i want to get to know him so a funny introduction the other guy just left um i don't know don't know where he went to but i just love this world oh there are beds over here so we could go to like actual magic school here which is so cool um there are desks more cauldrons cool is there another story no that's just this part is there a basement no okay i thought there were supposed to be more but i guess that's it but yeah basically Penelope said that they have to get to know each other a little bit more first. <gasps> Kellen? Oh my god. Uh oh, we caught you, boy. Alex is like, <gasps> Kellen, what are you doing here? Oh my god, she's gonna go over here and, oh my god, yell at him. It's like, Callan, you are a spellcaster and you brought me here? What's going on? Now he's really sad. He's like, it's what I had to do. It was my assignment. 
to bring you here are you even my real friend or are you just or am i just your job what's going on um let's argue about school how could you do this to me you lied to me you were supposed to be my best friend you told me i was the most important person in your life but all i was to you was a job oh my god and let's insult him like she really caught him she had no idea let's argue a little bit more oh my god their relationship is going down so freaking much and all the other people are just standing around them like what the hell is going on and now let's yell at him one last time oh he looks so sad he's very uncomfortable i mean obviously and they did also get a sentiment i would love to see what they got um festering grudge Callan has a deep-seated grudge against alex it's hard to forget or forgive the past which may make being around alex feel very oh my god dude i should be mad at you well i am mad at you but how can you just how can you just be mad at me when you were lying to us this whole freaking time stop yawning at me you betrayed me and i know that you'll never feel sorry oh my god you're a traitor you're just a traitor i want to do more to him but i know i shouldn't i don't want to i don't know what wait are they being friendly right now no they're still arguing <laughs> oh my god what are they doing now dude he's like maybe we should talk about this in private or what are you trying to do right now alex where are you going oh you have to pee poor girl are there bathrooms yeah there's one over here it's pranked though so is this one so i guess you don't have a choice oh my god that was so dramatic i did not expect her to see Callan here um but obviously it had to happen one day or the other now he's leaving he's like i'm not interested in learning anything else today that went horribly horribly oh my fucking god and i guess we're not gonna do any more magic lessons today obviously that was all very very heartbreaking for alex she is so sad but i feel like that just makes her want to meet more spellcasters even more but it's already 2 a.m so probably i don't know maybe we should wait come back another time at least she met her teacher today and um we can always come back another day or are there any more teens oh you're mischievous he's also called alex <laughs> what's happening let's introduce ourselves real quick before we have to leave so we will know all of the what are they called um sages oh they immediately get along they already have a sentiment just from introducing each other yeah i mean i knew they would be friends they're both into mischief um he's already an elder but i feel like they will get along so freaking well and who are you are you a teen yeah orion let's introduce ourselves stop doing magic on the <laughs> on the shelf oh he's so cute he has little elf ears as well look at him um let's i don't know ask about his career where do you go to school is this your like a full-time thing with magic or he's feeling flirty oh my god <laughs> brightness day i don't know we just want to find spellcaster friends because obviously we're in a whole new world oh my god Callan is back and he's probably so mad he maybe we should flirt with him since he's feeling flirty and Callan is standing right here he's probably gonna be so mad <gasps> sounds like fun <laughs> let's compliment his appearance like, i love your elf ears um just makes me feel like magic is so cool i don't know that makes absolutely no sense but we just want to tease Callan. where is he going he's leaving now <laughs> but yeah i think oh my god did they get a sentiment yeah feeling close okay but yeah i think it's maybe time for us to leave already maybe introduce ourselves ourselves to her myra hayes she is looking really cute i mean her outfit is out there to say the least but yeah introduce yourself to her and then we're gonna go home because alex is already pretty tired and hungry so yeah i think we should go home now 
and here we are alex just grabbed something to eat super quick maybe in some more popcorn jesse is kind of looking weird did i give her new skin details or something no today she's looking fine okay it was the last time that she looked a little bit weird i think right now she just has some acne uh girl why don't you put on a face mask just do a one-time treatment and max how did you get into alex's room it's locked they always go in there when i'm not on the lot and then they can't get out later on oh my god i did some things that i haven't even showed you guys yet okay since we have a spare room now i decided that max could move into justin's old room and his room is now the art studio that leads into the outdoor gym so juan and alex as long as she's here will have this little art studio where they can paint and just get inspired if you know what i mean and the downstairs office is just the office now with a little seating area and just some of jesse's stuff so this is kind of her room and the other room is more like juan's room i just thought that made a little bit more sense and that's already it that's that's all i wanted to show you <laughs> But how are you doing, Alex? Are you done eating? You're about to. So you can just go upstairs and go to bed. You are still locked in here, boy. Why? Just why? Why can't you get out? Okay, I think you have to unlock your door. Oh, it's not even locked? What do you mean? I thought it was locked. It should should have been locked. Oh my god, what was that? Okay, it, it wasn't even locked. Mm -hmm. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. But I think right now everyone should just go to bed and then we'll talk to each other in the morning. Oh well, I just realized it is already morning because they just went to bed at 6 a.m. But <laughs> I guess I'm gonna wait until they're not as tired anymore. Well, maybe... Well, Jessie, yeah. Okay, well, Jessie wasn't even tired at all. So... I guess she's just gonna get up immediately. Does she have a job coming up? Oh, she does. Um, but it's not until tomorrow. There is some stuff we have to do though. And Max is going through a mean streak. Perfect. But Jesse, you have to practice your charisma. So maybe you can do that over here. Practice your speech. Juan is already up as well. You can just go ahead and start breakfast. What should we serve? Oh, we do have the cookbook over here, don't we? Oh no. Yeah, we do. Granny's recipes, breakfast. Let's maybe... Ooh, acai bowl. Yeah, let's do a family size. That sounds so good right now. Oh, you're already done? Ooh, I love it. Okay, then maybe call everyone to that meal. That's so cool. It's really well done, especially for customers content or a mod oh and now look at the bowl yummy oh i want an acai bowl now but my blender broke so i can't make any more they look so good jesse when you're done you're gonna have one as well but please finish developing your charisma skill first oh you are finished perfect and alex i guess you can get up now as well you're still a little bit tired but i don't want you to sleep the whole day you grab the last serving of the bowl oh you got more dude why did you get more you're already full leave that for your sister <gasps> he already finished it dude you had two servings i guess you're gonna have more popcorn or no you're getting something out of the fridge grilled plantain okay then i'm sorry i wanted you to have an acai bowl as well but your brother ate two servings mister i, I mean he's a preteen you know he has to grow <laughs> uh how are you are you having a good day um let's say no because she's so upset about Callan, obviously. He lied to her. He betrayed her. He's a freaking traitor. She wants nothing to do with him right now. Because basically, he lured her into the magic realm. Because Alexa probably told him to do so. So that she could activate Alexa's powers. Or like show her that she has powers. And it's all just so messed up. Oh, you're uncomfortable now? Nausea. That was gross from dream 
dream what was i holding in my dream and why was it wiggling <laughs> what i have no idea what that means but she's feeling nauseous now maybe go here and brush your teeth that might help you and jesse why don't you start cleaning up what are you doing with your husband oh they're ju just chatting okay Jessie's feeling amazing, honestly. She's the center of attention, which she loves. Her career is going amazing. Silver tongue, playing the hard strings. Aww. She's just living her best life. She's finally where she wants to be with her life. She has amazing children, an amazing career, an amazing husband. I am so happy for her and that just leaves me with a good feeling since we are about to wrap this generation up what are you doing girl you want to play some scuffle okay you can do that for a little bit i guess and juan you haven't painted something in a while so maybe you go into your new art studio or oh, what's that resume confident painting can you do that even though you're not com confident anymore not sure okay it looks it looks like you can you have fun doing that. And who's calling you? Do you want to hang out tonight at the ruins? Oh, sorry, Hayes, I can't. Kel Kellen is probably going to be there and she's totally not up for that. But maybe we can hang out with our new friends today. Um. Oh my god, she is married to Matthias Hayes. Matthias? Ma Matthias in German? I don't know. Um, then there's Orion and elijah we should hang out with those two maybe and they they probably got imported from the gallery because they already look pretty good i don't even have to give them makeovers that's perfect so maybe we could go somewhere with them should we meet at the magic realm or somewhere in the real world i'm not sure we could even form a new group since the, our pirates group is probably i don't know it's kind of dying so we need to do a magic group maybe the fire symbol could be cute for that um yeah why not and i have no idea what we should call them the requirements trait are there can we do the magic stuff for that like you have to be a spellcaster i don't think so because there is the alien trait in here oh there it is spellcasters yay spellcasters only we like to cast spells we like to use a cauldron we like to be funny and i don't know i think maybe that's enough yeah i think that's enough they can do pretty much whatever they want i guess and right now we are gonna add orion and elijah and then we'll just see who else we meet i guess but we do need a name we could call each other like wizards of waverly place or something like that or my shuno casters spell casters of my shuno <laughs> i don't know i think that's your name i don't know is my shuno casters is that a weird name maybe if you have better recommendations let me know otherwise i will just leave it like that and then we can always add more people wait is everyone in here a spellcaster oh that is so cool since that's the requirement they're only recommending spellcasters right kazem is pretty cute but i don't think he is in our age reina is super cute as well but i think we're gonna just see who we meet naturally that just makes a little bit more sense so let's see where we can go with them we could just go to the art studio or to a restaurant but let's see what the magic realm has to offer or maybe even glimmerbrook because yeah i did place a restaurant down here maybe we'll go to that one garden restaurant and then we can always go to the magic realm together elijah orion and alex okie dokie wait elijah why are you wearing an alien outfit <laughs> oh my god but this place is so cool but i think i placed it the wrong way or okay no i guess that's the entrance oh it's so cute and the environment is so cute i love this world so much um oh it's summer i forgot <laughs> I forgot it's summer but it's almost fall but i mean that doesn't even matter right now i don't know why i was just talking about that maybe we can get this table looks like it's perfect for three people and then they can just talk about magic because it must be so exhausting for her not to be able to talk about it with any of her friends well i guess she could talk about it with Callan, but they're not on speaking terms right now so 
Yeah, but this place is so cool. We even have a hot tub, a little fountains. This lounge area, I think um, they used items that I don't have, which is why there are these weird chairs standing around. But yeah, I love it here. It's so cute. And this is our table. Thank you very much. And I'm just gonna order immediately since, you know, it's gonna take forever, I guess white nectar blend oh my god do you think the guys will have a bad influence on her i mean i don't know their their traits yet so i guess we're just gonna get juice because i don't know maybe they're all good people and i'm just judging them it's already lunchtime, so i guess we're gonna get some of this Ooh, i think alex is gonna get a blt maybe oh wait no she's gonna get a burger and so will elijah and then orion will have the blt yes okay that's it thank you do we know any of the people that are here oh you're so cute zayna that's a nice name but no thank god Callan is not here that would have been hella awkward but now i want them to talk and just get to know each other a little bit let's get to know orion discuss interests with elijah guys where are you going sit back down <laughs> Oh, Orion is a cat lover. That is so cute. I definitely want to know all of their traits. Let's maybe have a deep conversation. Discuss interests with Orion. Guys, please don't leave. Where are you going? Oh, they're so cute. Okay, maybe they're just really good friends. And they're either talking about how cool alex is and how she's one of them now or how they hate her so freaking much it could be either one of those but we still only know that he's a cat lover oh alex thinks he's a very attractive nice to know and elijah we don't know anything about him but she thinks he's attractive as well i mean i don't have anything in mind right now regarding romantic relationships with them but who knows anything anything could happen <laughs> but guys please come back i want to discuss interests with you and find out your trades Ooh, but our food is arriving cool okay dig in eat your burger alex oh my god elijah doesn't like us why are you mad for me discussing my interests with you let's ask about his day is there something else you want to talk about if you don't want to talk about that ask about career oh my god and we reached charisma level number six that is perfect alex is definitely a very charismatic person so i think that's perfect let's brighten their day and alex has learned that elijah is a fry cook at a hamburger man okay and he also goes to um high school why are you all playing with your future cubes please stop that dude can you like tell me anything about you i don't know any of your traits or maybe tell him a funny story i don't know compliment his outfits maybe he will like that oh yeah he liked that okay and discuss interests with orion we still don't know their traits why is it so hard to find out other sims traits i mean the fact that i have the mod that lets you have five traits doesn't make it any easier to be honest but still i want to know at least two and the romance festival is in town we don't have a boo because our bestie and almost boyfriend betrayed us <laughs> that's very depressing let's try discussing interests again they will probably hate it but whatever we don't have anything to lose elijah already doesn't like us so wait they gained a sentiment closer from happy memories but she doesn't know any of his traits <laughs> what's happening oh my god dude what's happening are you not in a good mood you're confident I just want to know your traits is that so hard for you to understand okay i think i'm just gonna keep trying maybe i will have them take selfies to better their relationship and then i will come back when i know more 
um elijah just randomly flirted with alex and she responded to it they they still don't know anything about each other their relationships aren't going up i think i might have to um take out the slice of life mod again i think that's what's stopping relationship gain i've had that issue before if you remember with jesse in the beginning and i don't know why they're all flirting everyone's flirting with each other um they're always going back to discuss stuff I don't know what's happening. Um, yeah, maybe one of them is into Alex and they're just doing the little going away to chat thing. Wait, who are you flirting with right now? Did you... With her? Um, I have no idea what's... Yeah, she's flirting with her now. I have no idea what's happening. I think I should go home. This this is a little too wild for me. Um, yeah, I don't know what's happening. Um, I just came home to this. I forgot to hit record. Alex just walked in and there immediately was a fire. My game is so freaking glitchy right now. I think it's time to wrap this part up. I hope it was interesting to you. We made some new friends or not. And lost a friend or not. I still don't know. But yeah, we only have one last episode left of this LP. And I'm so excited to start Alex's journey. I feel like I'm saying that in every single video, but it's true. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any recommendations down below. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye.